Main event of the evening, Jack Hermanson versus Sean Strickland. UFC Vegas, I think it's like 46 or something. Like that. Uh, UFC Vegas 47. Oh, okay, 47. Yep, 47. It's been a lot. I like these uh, Vegases. I'm not going to lie. Little cage too. Very yeah, I love excited. it. 25-foot cage. Very, very exciting. Tremendous. I love this matchup, dude. Jack Manson coming in at plus 175 to a minus 210. Sean Strickland. Uh, let's start at the odds there. Are you a little shocked by those odds? Sean's looked pretty fucking good. So if he's going to be a minus 200, I guess I can't be. I can't say that I'm shocked. Maybe I was thinking it was be a little bit closer because like he's fighting a wrestler, man. Jack Manson's going to come in, try to utilize that ground game. He's going to try and take Sean down, put him on his back. Sean's got great jujitsu, great fighting game off his back as well. But is it going to be enough against a crushing guy like Jack Manson? Or does it stay on the feet? Jack Manson can throw. That's a very exciting fight, in my opinion. Sean Strickland has just he's just looked super good. He's got a lot of hype behind his name. He's on his come up. Are you shocked by this line? No, I'm actually not. Uh, I, I actually had Sean Strickland at, before I looked at the odds, I figured he'd be about a minus 180 to a minus 210. So I think Vegas is right on on this. Uh, you know, I, it's just, you have to look at the body of work that Sean Strickland has had over the last three years. You know, he's on a uh, he's on a five-fight win streak. Some of his last uh, victories was Uriah Hall uh, via unanimous decision. Uh, Christoph Jocko, uh, another decision win. He, he defeated Brendan Allen as well, that second-round TKO. Uh, Jack Marshman, like, he has looked really, really good as of late. I think he's a fantastic striker. He's a shit talker. I love watching him. He's like Kevin Holland. He talks yep. a lot of shit while he fights. And uh, the guy's got cardio for days, man. I mean, Absolutely. you cannot... You cannot underestimate this guy's heart for, for fighting. He just loves fighting, too. I mean, he'll knock you the fuck out in sparring, too, and he's done it. I've watched the training footage. I'm like, bro, you got to take it easy. You're going to kill people. You're going to kill your <laughs> sparring partners. Uh, but, no, I love the matchup. And and let's let's keep in mind, I mean, I, I don't want to put any disrespect on Jack Hermanson either. Yeah, I do think he's the underdog coming into this fight, but he could very well win this fight uh, due to the grappling, the takedowns, the submissions. We, we all know that's how he's probably going to win this fight if he, if he can pull it off. And he just had that very impressive win against Edmund Shabazian mm -hmm. uh, via unanimous decision at UFC Fight Night 188 Font versus Garbrandt in May of 2021 was the last fight. You know, he came up short against Marvin Vittori, but then uh, went out there, beat Ke uh, Kelvin Gastel, him, lost to Jared Cannonier. So he, he's kind of winning one, losing one. Uh, but I, yeah, I just like Sean Strickland here. I think he's probably going to, out, I know for a fact, he's going to outstrike him, out cardio him. And uh, I think Sean Strickland gets the finish. And he's got great take takedown defense as well. I mean, it's going to be very yes, difficult to take him down. We know that's Jack Manson's bread and butter. He's going to try to utilize those rest, that wrestling there. He's going to try to take him down. But even if he's successful, Sean Strickland is very good at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. He knows a lot of sweeps. He can get out from under bottom. He could even threaten submissions there as well. So I agree with you. I agree with the line. I like Sean Strickland in this fight. Minus 210 seems decent for me. Um, let's just get right into church coin. How about that? Guys, uh, I'm buying back in because it just wouldn't be fun if I just yeah. was out. The whole, the whole mean, point is to participate. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a good time. You know? I, I had like 300 church coin. I was done. Yeah, I was done for the month. My 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 reign is essentially over. Mason's sitting over around 2,200, uh, 22,000 church coins. He's got a nice lead. But I'm buying back in. And, of course, I can't just buy back in with 10 because then it would be me and Cosmo really competitive there. Uh, so we're going to give me 5,000 church coin. Um, I'm probably just going to do a shoey or something like that on a fight companion for that. We'll, we'll, we'll hash that out, make sure we know, and keep you guys updated there. But I got 5,000 church coin now. And I'm going to put 2,000 church coin on Sean Strickland. I really like him in this matchup. Minus 210, I'm not going to get the biggest return there. But, I mean, it's it's big enough to where I'd rather put the church coin there because I think he's I think he's kind of a lock-in pick this week. Uh, I like him a lot against Jack Manson. I think he's going to stuff takedowns. I think he's going to outstrike him on the feet. Like you said, I think he's going to out cardio him as well. He could get Jack tired and he could hurt him, especially in the later rounds. Wouldn't be shocked if there's TKO finish or this goes decision. That's probably what I'm going to lean towards. I'm also going to put my prop bet. I'm going to throw 250 church coin on Strickland by decision. I don't know what that line is. We'll figure that out yeah, later. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. It's probably... It's probably not a very good one, but that's just that's just how I see the fight going. Yeah, so. five rounds. It, it might be like a plus 180. That yeah. would be my guess, something like that. Uh, so 500, or you said 2,000 church coin? 2,000 church coin on Strickland and 250 on Strickland UD for the prop bet. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have to agree with Tabor on this one. I just think uh, St uh, Strickland will, is going to go out there. He's going to outpoint him. Uh, you know, Hermanson will go for those takedowns, but I think uh, I think Str Strickland will uh, have great takedown defense. And if he can get him down to the mat, I don't think he keeps him there. 
You know, and I don't think Strickland's the kind of guy to, to go out easy. Like, it's going to take round after round after round to take this guy out because he's just he's got a heart of a lion and he just doesn't give up. Yeah. Uh, so I'm putting 500 church coin on Strickland for the win. My prop, though, I'm going to hedge my bet. You guys know how I like to hedge bets. Uh, the only way I see Hermanson winning is via submission. I don't think he outpoints him. I don't think he beats him uh, via decision. So my best bet for my prop, I'm going to lay 200 church coin on Hermanson submission. Shout out to Cosmo Reverb, our Patreon subscriber, who's betting alongside of us for this, for the church coin belt. Um, he just said in the chats, had to go for the dog in this one. Need to catch up with Mason. He's putting 1,000 church coin on Jack Hermanson in this fight. Okay, I, I like that. I mean, I like fuck, it. I like the line, too. I mean, at a plus 175, he can make some cheddar there. And his prop bet for this main event is 500 on Strickland by decision. So he's hedging his bet there as well. Very smart by you, my, my, my guy. Shout out to you, and I will be seeing your picks after each fight. <laughs>